Racquetball Doubles is a great game for all levels to play. This video gives you the basics which you need to know in order to play the game. It's the same basic rules as for singles apart from the following. When receiving the serve, you must as a team choose which side each player will keep to. You then need to do this for each serve. So player A1 will always be on the left hand side and A2 must be on the right hand side for the serve. The same goes for the B players. You can, if you want to, swap sides at the end of the game, but you don't have to. If player B1 starts serving for the B team, then they serve for the whole game. At the start of game two, then player B2 serves for the whole game. The same applies for the A team. You can play best of three or five games. If it gets to one all, best of three, or two all, best of five, then you change server in the final game when either team gets to five points. So for instance, B1 starts and B2 takes over at 5-2. The players take alternate shots, so in this example B1 serves to A1. B1 then moves to the back of the court after serving, ideally move to the back of the half court line. Player A1 hits the ball straight down the wall. After hitting the ball, player A1 moves to the back of the court. Players A2 and B1 have moved up the court. Player B2 moves across and hits the ball over to the other side of the court. Player B2 moves to the back of the court, while player A2 moves to the ball to hit a forehand. The rally would continue with B1 then hitting the ball and then A1 etc until the rally finishes. It's important to try and get this circular movement of players at the back of the court after each shot. Otherwise, you will get in each other's way and the game will constantly get interrupted and you will have to, to keep playing let balls, playing the point again. If you're playing doubles for fun, then if there is any obstruction, look to always play a let ball. The only time when this isn't the case is if you get in the way of your own player or you play the ball back and it hits your own player, you would then lose the point. In this instance, player A2 has hit a loose ball across the court and their own player, A1, is in the way and player B2 can't hit the ball, so the B team get the point. The scoring is the same as singles, so it's up to 11 points. Each rally counts. If you get to 10-10, then the team who gets two points clear is the winner, for instance, 14-12. Remember, if you think at any time you might hit a player with your shot, then always stop and play a let ball. Just to re-emphasise, if you are a squash player, you will automatically, after hitting your shot, look to get on the tee to dominate the rally. In racquetball doubles, don't. Just look to move to the back of the half-court line in order to help the game flow. 
In the photo, you can see the players lined up along the half court line, waiting for their turn to hit the ball. Once you've worked this out, you are really going to enjoy it. It's a great game.